in any way because you see Hello. Yeah, just if there was any confusion from that song, I am gay. Um, <laughs> not happy. No, marvel at the irony of that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm James. I'm in my second year of university now, uh, and I'm living with three girls. Uh, not that you would notice, because none of them bothered to buy a ticket for this fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> but hey, other than that, it's all, it's all okay. Um, we get along really well. We uh, there is some musical friction though between us. Uh, which is my way of saying they'll like One Direction. <laughs> I don't like One Direction. <laughs> I mean, I suck cock, but liking that boy band is a bit faggy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> if I can make a homophobic joke, anyone can. Um, but yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of One Direction, mainly because of their choice of a cover song called uh, One Way or Another. Do we all know that song? Yes. You said, yeah, like you liked that. <laughs> you like One Direction, don't you? Yeah. Mm, fucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't understand. They make a song called One Way or Another, but they're called One Direction. <laughs> it just makes as much sense to me as Pussy Wright doing a cover of Gimme, 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 A Man After Midnight. I mean, that's all I'm saying there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, living with the three girls, that's great. Uh, for a bloke, it's been an interesting journey into the world of menstruation. <laughs> yeah, I can already see some faces in the audience cringing. Just the women, though, because they can tell the boyfriends are about to ask what's menstruation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, don't, w don't worry, seriously. I've only got like two jokes on this. Uh, I have to listen to this three times a month. Twice if I'm lucky and my period's synced with them. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that is all my vagina based humour actually. There's a limited amount of uh, female genitalia humour I can do. Uh, because one, I don't have one. Uh, and two, ugh, you know, who, who, who wants to hear about that? I mean, the only thing more disgusting than a vagina is gay sex, let's be honest. Uh, fuck those gays. Uh, fuck those gays. Uh, Change the subject, change the subject. Um, do we have any fans of Harry Potter in tonight? I fucking love you guys. Even that girl who won't like One Direction, I still love her now. Uh, often when I say that question to an audience, you can tell there are some people there who struggle to say yes, they struggle to say they like Harry Potter. And I can understand, I mean, particularly if you're an older person, there's nothing, you know, fun about saying that you like a children's book and those uh, eight goddamn awful films. Uh, that is a history of bad acting for one generation. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and I, I personally think, you know what? Yeah, I'm proud about it. If you want to like Harry Potter, you like Harry Potter. There are worse things in the world to be fond of. Pussies come into mind. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I really love the whole Harry Potter universe. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing I do have a problem with is the character of Harry Potter. Uh, Mainly because he's so fucking whiny. Uh, you know, first book, oh, I'm not special. Second book, oh, I'm special, but this really nasty wizard wants to kill me. You know, uh, f uh, fourth book, oh, I really like that Chinese girl, but she seems to be going out with a rather f uh, familiar face. He looks quite like the Robert Pattinson actor who can't act very well. Fifth book, oh, I really like that Chinese girl, and I'm going out with her now, but she turns out to be a bit of a cunt. <laughs> Oh, my parents are dead. We fucking know, Harry. Every fucking book you say your parents are dead. I wish I was one of his parents so I didn't have to listen to him whine about it. Like, fucking hell. And you, and you know that his mother was like the Quidditch broomstick. I mean, everyone's had a ride on her. <laughs> fucking hell. Does he not find it weird that all these uh, middle-aged guys are coming up to him going, oh, cool, you've, you've got your mother's eyes, Harry. <laughs> Your mother, I knew her very well. <laughs> oh, fucking slut. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I think, I think it's great. I'm not fond of the films, apart from number four. Number four's really good. We all, we, we've all seen it, because we all like Harry Potter, I imagine. Uh, but there's the, the there's a great plot twist in number four, where we find out that the character Mad-Eye Moody has actually been locked in a trunk for the whole year. And the guy who's impersonating him is actually Joseph Ritzel. 
pays 23 years off being Joseph Fritzl. Uh, but yeah, and I, I think uh, that the scene that was lacking in the fourth film, would have, which would have been perfect, is if Harry was running through the maze and he came across a frozen Jack Nicholson like this. <laughs> there are no Stanley Kubrick fans in the room. There is one who's laughing rather loud. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that would have been a great uh, plot twist. Uh, I should have said at university, I do do film studies. I do do. Yeah, someone laughed at that. Do do. Made a poo joke. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love films. Like, there's nothing better that I love. There's nothing more I love doing than just watching TV and watching films. Uh, there was a joke running up to that, but it's fucked off. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, never mind. Uh, but yes, um, I, am, uh, I am gay. As we mentioned that before, <laughs> that is important. Remember it. Um, when I... Um, I am coming up to 20 now. Well, I'm coming up to 21 now. Uh, I turned 20 uh, and had to take stock of life. Uh, and I did realise I'm still single. Ladies. <laughs> yeah, you got to catch up with that one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm still single. Um, and I, I, can, I can understand that, I mean, I'm no picnic, uh, but all that really explains is why people aren't sitting on me, I suppose. Uh, but um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm 20 and I'm single and I really don't like it, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, because Mainly because if I'm not with anyone, it really means I'm only gay in theory, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotta be able to prove your sexuality these days. Uh, whew, let's, let's pick someone. You, uh, one in the pink thing, I'm a bob. <laughs> Yeah, that's you. Gay or straight? Straight. Straight. Prove it. <laughs> I want you to find the nearest female in the audience, one that you're not related to, because I've done this joke before and it can backfire. Uh, <laughs> bend her over the stage and fuck her. <laughs> no, not going to do it. Maybe where everyone else is <laughs> <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what sexuality you've got, because with that on your neck, no one's going to fuck you. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, and uh, when I came out to my friends, it was a very uh, hard thing to do, uh, especially uh, with one of my best friends who is a guy, because a guy who likes guys is a complication. Um, but when I came out to him, he was absolutely, uh, he was absolutely fine about it. We can't sleep head to in the same bed anymore. <laughs> it is my fault when he said no, I should have took that as a sign to stop touching him. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, but yes, and that, um, I'm, I'm mainly gay for the reason, though, that I can't multitask. Uh, <laughs> wait for it. Uh, yeah, if you think about it, women, they, they have breasts and a vagina, right? Ooh. Yeah. That must be hell for some people. I mean, pff, I'm, I just look at a man and I think, dick. So I'm sticking with the dick on that one. Uh, but yeah, I came out to my friends, but that was a few years ago. Uh, recently, I did come out to my parents. That was, uh, that was a big step for me. Don't fucking cheer. It wasn't like you did anything, was it? Uh, but yeah, I, I came out to my parents and they were uh, half and half, really. Uh, I came out to my mum uh, and she was, she was really cool about it. She was really accepting. Uh, I think it was just because... I mean, I'd like to think it's because she is my mother and she loves me, but I think it's just because now she's got a queer that she can bitch to. Uh, plus side of me, we've got one more thing in common, that cock thing, don't we? Um, but yeah, uh, and I came out to my dad, and that was, that was where things went a bit downhill. Uh, the only reason it really annoys me, though, is because he, I think he sees it as he should be able to dictate who I want to sleep with, which doesn't really go down well for me, uh, because, you know, I don't kick up a fuss that he's still fucking my mother. So, I've been James Jackson, thank you so much. It's all eyes, all eyes. <laughs> okay. So, are we ready for our next act? Fantastic. This is our final act in this half of the show, so you guys have got to make lots and lots of noise, because this is where we're getting judged now. The There's going to be judgment at each half, so really do make a lot of noise. Chris, you know the drill. All right, we'll start with our side. Chris, after three. One, two, three. Go, man! <laughs> 